I received a question from Alexander for drawing a 10 degree headstock. So I thought why not do a video on 3 different headstock styles. The purpose of this video is to show you how I draw these headstocks and in particular how I make the transitions between the neck and headstock. I will draw the same basic shape of the headstock but I'm sure you can come up with better shapes. All examples that I show you is inspired by work of others. Let's go ahead and start with the first one. I like to start my drawings by making a scale length. I also make it a construction line. Then I make a few offset planes to mark the beginning of the scale length and the 12th and 24th fret position. At the 24th fret position I add 5mm extra to create enough room for holding this fret as well. Then I start drawing the shape of the neck at the start and 12th fret position. By making a loft the first part of the neck is created. I then pull the neck to the 24th fret position. By extruding the top of the neck and creating a new body, I have my rough shape for the fretboard. To create space for the top nut, I am pulling the neck 5mm out. From here on, I will be making the headstock. I start the shape of the headstock in the center of the neck. The length of the headstock will be around 200 mm. This is just a rough drawing. Please feel free to create a better shape. To create a smooth transition later on, I make a fillet of the sharp corner. Do not make it too wide, otherwise the transition will not be smooth enough. In this case I make a fairly large extrude, around 25mm. I will lose 5mm later on from top and bottom side. Then I start pulling the neck so it runs smoothly into the headstock. By combining the neck and headstock, I am able to make a smooth transition by using the fillet function. I check my fillet size by making sure the width of the fretboard still lines up with the neck. I do that by displaying the fretboard. Now it's time to take off those extra 5mm on top and bottom. I am creating a rectangle that is 5mm in height and as wide as the headstock length. I then use a spline to give it a nice curve. By extruding this shape and cutting it from the headstock I create the bottom of the headstock. Basically the whole process goes for the top part as well. To make sure there is room for the top nut, I create an offset plane that is set at 5mm distance from the end of the fretboard. Again I'm drawing a rectangle with a spline for a nice curve. Extrude it and cut it from the top of the headstock and we're done. This is example number one. 
a headstock with two curves on the top and bottom. Now let's do a straight headstock. Example number two. I will start at the place where we create the extra 5mm for the top knot. So again I will draw a rough shape of the headstock. Do not make the fillet of the headstock too big. This will mess up the nice transition. This time I will only make an extra root of 20 mm. Then I pull the neck out so it runs into the headstock. After combining the headstock and neck, it's ready to make a nice transition by using a fillet. By checking the fretboard, I'm making sure the curves are not messing up the width of the neck. Now I make an offset plane, so I know where to start the rectangle for cutting away material of the headstock for 5mm. So after that is done, this second example is ready. Now the third example, a 10 degree tilted headstock. Again, I start at the place where I create the extra 5 mm for the top nut. Now the big difference is that I make an offset plane with an angle of 10 degrees. Then it's basically the same thing. I'm now drawing the basic shape of the headstock, giving it a nice curve at the start. The extrude is already at its final height, which in this case is 50mm. Then I pull out the neck just enough to connect to the headstock. A simple combine and fillet function gives me the smooth transition. Watch the side of the fillet carefully to make sure there is still room for the top nut. Now the top of the headstock needs some work. By splitting the neck with the top plane of the tilted headstock, the transition is smooth. I hope these three examples are helpful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching.